The WIP folder has all our reports relating to unbilled WIP. So if a time entry has not been posted to WIP, or if it has been billed, it won't appear on these reports. The WIP summary aging reports will show a single line for each client and provide a grand total of all unbilled WIP as of the current date and will age and break the WIP out into current, 30, 60, 90, and 120 day columns based on the current period end. You can run the report by partner or by manager, which will sort the clients by that staff assignment and provide subtitles for each partner or manager, or you can run it by pure client order, either by client ID or client sort name. WIP summary engagement is the same as the summary aging, except that it will provide a separate row for each engagement on each client. The WIP reconciliation reports are meant to be month-end reports and are period sensitive, meaning that they cut off at the current period end and ignore any transactions dated after the current period end. There are three flavors of the report. Period to date, which is just the current period. Period to date, year to date. On the period to date, year to date report, each client will have two rows for the period to date and year to date numbers. And year to date. This is your fiscal year to date. Then within each of these, you have the option to run it by client, which is pure client order, or by partner, manager, or accountant. WIP reconciliations will show an opening WIP amount, so how much unbilled WIP each client has at the opening of the month, time and expenses, so the current period's time and expense entries that have been posted to WIP, billing, which is the total amount billed in the current period, mark up or down taken on current period invoices, provisional mark, transferred, if you transferred WIP from client A to client B, and closing WIP, so how much unbilled WIP each client has at the period end. The WIP Detail Landscape 36 Month and Billing Worksheet are main reports that are meant to be used to decide what to bill on each client, as they show in detail every line of unbilled WIP on a client's account. The WIP Detail Landscape 36 Month are designed in landscape mode and will provide a synopsis of 36 months of past billings and markups and downs by month. The billing worksheet reports are designed in portrait mode and do not include the 36 months of billing info, but will tell you what you last billed the client. Both sets of reports have the following breakouts. Detail overhead versus detail, so the overhead version will show you the overhead rates of the employee, what you pay them per hour, and thus what it costs you to have the employee do that work. Right now, I'm on the Employee screen in the Employee Properties under the Rates tab, and you can see the Overhead Rate field. You'll only get that overhead amount if you've entered an overhead rate in the Employee's Properties Rates tab. The Detail versions that you see here are identical in design but do not include any overhead information. All WIP reports are by client, but you can decide how you want the WIP within the client sorted and subtotaled. In employee order with subtotals for each employee, by work code with subtotals for work types or work codes, or in straight date order oldest to newest. Then inside each of these, you have by client, by manager, and by partner. So if you're running the billing worksheet, detail overhead, by employee, and you choose by client, it sorts the clients in sort name order. By manager sorts the clients by staff assignment manager, and by partner sorts the clients by staff assignment partner. So you have to decide how you want those clients sorted. In client order, by manager or partner assignment. And that pretty much explains how the WIP reports are broken down.